Hello, this is Damodaki2, and we are back for part 95 of my From the Depths Let's Play in 2.4.9. Um, there's a couple of things I need to let you guys know, just full disclosure here. Um, the first time I tried recording this episode, for some reason I was only to capture like the first 11 seconds of it. The second time I tried to record this, um, well... <laughs> I think I was having issues with a new microphone that I was testing out and it didn't bother to record any of the audio. No, 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 no. Actually, that was the third time. The second time was um, I accidentally hit the stream button and not the record button. Third time is when I had the microphone issues and no sound was recorded whatsoever. So here we are. Hopefully, fourth time will be a charm. But yeah, this episode has been fairly cursed. Anyway, let's just continue where we left off here. Um, now, also for the sake of disclosure here, um, there was a few battles that uh, kind of got missed because I... Like I said, the first time I tried to record it, it was like 11 seconds that only got recorded and the rest of it's just gone, so... It was like a battle that was in this square here, and I think it, there was another one that was right up here. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys before we got back into this. Anyway, let's uh, have a look our, at our strategic map here. Um, I'm thinking I want to rename this fleet here real quick. Kings of Metal, and I think I want to take this fleet back over the mountains here. Uh, what are you, Midway Carrier? Let's bring you down here. Yeah, there's just so much salvage that I could be picking up out here. Moving now, moving now, moving now, moving now. We'll let the Dreadnought do it. But we want to lure these three fleets out of this area so we can bring in the uh, airships and just blow the bejesus out of this base over here. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to get much action going on down here in the south. Because we still got a lot of these strength 200 tiles and those could take a while. So let's go ahead and unpause it. Thankfully, this fleet moves a little bit faster. Uh, are you guys repairing? Receiving. Come on. Rexmark 2, how about you go... Actually, how about you come over here? And I think I will check to see how the repairs are going on this fleet down here. Yeah, it looks like pretty much Victoria got a little messed up. Uh, let's bring the Kingdom Come Missile Cruisers to about here. And what's this? That's the Shiriyama. Okay. Let's just kind of bring these guys back to their starting positions here. Yeah, there's another one up here. That's kind of a pain about this because they just kind of tend to wander off in a bunch of directions during the battle, so yeah. Uh, do I have a resource pull there? Yes, I do. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Midway, you can come over this way, please. I think I want to bring this satellite Moving out. down Moving here out. and then over here Moving so we out. can get a deeper look into their territory. Listening. 
Uh, we're gonna bring the Kings of Metal back just a little bit further. Hey, got a level. Moving out. Do 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 do. <laughs> Tachyon, Dagger. Those Tachyons are kind of a pain to hit with these. Moving now. Maybe I should have had these guys brought over. Let's crank up the speed a little bit. See what's going on here in the south. No. Moving. Moving. Alright, so since there's a few flyers in this group, I think I might want to bring the Shiriyamas in to handle these. Moving. Listening. Listening. Oh yeah, the Masters of the Wind airships still have that bug going on where they can't set their altitude properly. Oh, let's see here. Last man standing submarines. Oh, got the Shiryamas out there. Last man standing over here. Let's see, what else do we got here? That's good. Uh, I think I want the Corollas Rex Mark II in here, but that'll remain at the bottom. Just in case we get to a situation that's a little too much for our other forces to handle. And I think we are ready to roll here. And what is that? The dagger? Yeah, I think the airship can handle a dagger. And we're just gonna put Rambot in this chair here. I'm starting to think the Masters of the Wind airship could probably use a little bit of uh, work. I'm thinking these cram cannons uh, that might do better with maybe a uh, timed or altitude fuse. So at least we'll be like at least hitting targets within the same neighborhood. I think these airships probably have some of the best missile defense I've been able to come up with so far. Oh, that big missile missed. Looks like it finally got it.
Ooh, something could blow up in there. And just smacked right in the ass with a freaking huge missile. Uh, got a high explosive enema. Oh yeah, she's definitely taking a lot of damage now. If that tachyon happens to come in next, I think I'm going to pull the airship and let the Shiriyamas handle it. They're better geared for that. The tachyons have so much freaking smoke, it's crazy. So the uh, anti-aircraft legs around the airship probably won't do near as good as it should. So now that I think about it, I may have upgraded it with uh, a higher AP laser, so I don't know. I just know the Shiryamers are better suited to handle it. Look at this mess. I think we hit 80 below. Two, one, and that's all she wrote. All right, let's see what she, we got going on here. Please don't be that tachyon, because I am not in the mood to deal with a tachyon today. I mean, yeah, I got to shoot it down sooner or later, but. All right, who else wants some? Yep, it would be the Tekion. Uh, we'll withdraw. And who is this? Uh, Rex Mike 2 might actually be able to handle it. So I thought it would have came in last. I thought I put this at the bottom of the list, but oh well. Rex has decent air defense, though she is meant more for surface targets. Oh, come on, Rex. Get him. How was that explosion from? We're still peppering it with our own laser, so that's good. At least I think we are. Oh, okay, yeah. We can just knock out one of those jet engines in the back. Actually, I think we might have. Almost seems like she's going into a death spiral now. Oh yeah.
Yeah, it looks like we finally got him. Oh yeah. She took some main gun, uh, gun rounds to the belly. <laughs> Probably annihilated her insides. Now it's all over about the dying. Wonder if I should start referring to Rex Mark II as a he instead of a she, kind of like what the Germans did with Bismarck. Yeah, this dude doesn't stand a chance against <laughs> Rex. Uh, Commander Charleston, though, from the Discord, uh, he also goes by uh, Yogurt Gaming on YouTube. He said uh, he modernized the um, the Mark II, and uh, I'm kind of curious to how it would probably fare against the. Uh, some of the new heavier designs that have come out in um, the dev test branch, like this Megalodon I keep hearing and seeing things about. I'm, I think I kind of already got an idea of what her weakness is going to be, but I don't want to spill the beans for you guys just yet. I'll give you a hint though, it's the same one that uh, the tier has, but that's all I'm going to say on it. Oh, those are some good broadsides. Don't know if those torpedoes are going to catch that. Though these remote guided ones are usually a bit more tenacious. Uh, how did I end up down? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I pulled, <laughs> I pulled the airship out. Like the fuck? Okay. Alright, so... Uh, she's got a few bumps and bruises, but otherwise fine. Just look at her, throwing everything with the kitchen sink at her. We are kind of burning through materials a little fast, but I think that's because we did a bunch of repairs before this battle got started. And this guy turned into a submarine, it seems. I'm wondering if Rex would do even better if I went with super cavitation rounds. I mean, yeah, we'd lose about 25% damage, but with the way th the waves are behaving in this state of the game, it's... I, I can't help but wonder how many shells miss because of it. Funny thing about From the Depths is that everything is kind of a trade-off, and I need... To stop Rex because it is. It's gonna try to thread the needle. Actually, she just barely got through there. Although she is wasting a little bit of ammo now, but. But 
she seems to handle that quite well, actually. I was afraid half her bottom of her keel would be missing, but no. Seems like it's doing all right. What are we attacking out here? I guess nothing now. Must have finally finished despawning. Okay. Uh, that's one of the brain dead ones, I think. The cross bolt, is it? Yeah. Beautiful. Good job, Rex. Rex, you're going to need some repairs. Now, I think if we bring these guys down and around like that, we should be able to take out these two fleets. I think we're going to see what we can do down here in the south. Um, Midway's down there. Okay. We'll bring up the Rex Mark II. We have two Masters of the Wind airships over here. Lifting. Moving out. Moving out. Lifting. Let's see here. What should I name this fleet? How about... Tribute to the band Slayer. Actually, I think that was probably one of the first songs I've ever heard of theirs. Was "Screaming from the Sky," came out on the um, Duke Nukem album. Actually, you guys remember Duke Nukem, right? The dude we had to wait like twelve goddamn years for to get a video game. <laughs> um. I don't think we're going to have enough time to squeeze another battle in here, fortunately. But uh, everything seems like it's going okay now after that hiccup that we had with uh, trying to record this. And sorry about the long-winded speech there. I just wanted to make you guys aware of exactly what happened and why, like this battle right here, I didn't record that and the one up here. So. Anyway, um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, stop the recording for now. And, um, well, this has been Damodoc82. Hope you guys have a hell of a day. And keep your hammer high. Later. <laughs>